So I'm an immigrant in a few generations removed, but my, you know, my grandparents came over here and, um, and as my father says, you know, he truly believes that America is, is the promised land and gave us all that we were able to give and we should give back. Deborah contacted me uh, in the kind of aftermath of the 2016 presidential election because she knew, of course, like all of us did, that our clients were at enormous risk um, given the rhetoric of the presidential campaign. And she was poised to become, and of course did become, Chancellor of the Bar Association in January of 2017. And she very much wanted to use her chancellorship to help our clients and other vulnerable populations in Philadelphia uh, that were going to be uh, placed at risk as a result of the um, expected policies. A lot of people within the legal community that just had a need and, and a feeling like they wanted to help in some way. So um, some uh, lawyers from different organizations and lawyers from the city got together and we just tried to brainstorm on ways that we could help uh, people and help vulnerable populations. And from that effort came uh, Take Action Philly. Before we knew it, the, the choice of topic was made for us. And it was immigration because uh, laws were passed and actions were taken that people were stopped immediately you know at the airport and and lives were changed so our first take action philly which was dealt with immigration driving that whole collaboration really was debbie she was at the helm leading the way and really leveraging the resources available to her through the Philadelphia Bar Association to really bring us all together and make a lot of the efforts and initiatives possible through Take Action Philly. What we ended up doing as a result of this and because of all the interest from lawyers in wanting to help is that we created naturalization clinics. Every single month. Um, staffed by private lawyers from all over the city. And um, she ran around to different parts of the city getting printers, getting, <laughs> getting portable printers and laptops so that citizenship applications and adjustment applications could be completed and printed out on the day of these clinics. Um, and her model still exists today. She's just a really great person who cares about others, who cares about treating people, um, making sure that everybody is treated equally. And when you combine Debbie with an amazing organization like HIAS and all the amazing work that you're doing, that, that HIAS is doing to help our immigrant and refugee populations, um, you're gonna be unstoppable and you're gonna make wonderful things happen. And we help hundreds of people a year because of the clinics and that was really, Deborah's uh, persistence and her uh, ideas, and uh, we really owe it all to her.